If I just create the image, I probably will go inside and retouch some of those effects. However, because it will be going after double exposure, and we will have it some overlays that will cover some of those um, birthmarks or other areas. So I will leave it them, save some time. However, I want to do some dodge and burn to bring out a little bit more of the shapes or uh, shadows and highlights. Let's go for this, creating a new layer. Let's go dodge and burn. And I'm going to fill this. So let's go fill with 50% gray, normal mode, opacity 100. So right now it's all gray and we want to switch mode to the soft light. If you watch tutorials before, you'll notice soft light and Photoshop on a 50% gray, it's become an invisible kind of layer. So it does not interact with the layers below. And next, let's hold down Alt or Option key. Move your mouse over till you see the arrow appear and click to clip our dodge and burn to our model layer. So model layer become our parent layer. Next, let's go just add some shapes by using brushes. For this, I'm going to use soft edge brush and we'll go set very soft, maybe 10% or even lower if you used mouse or if you're using Bicom pad, you can just touch sensitive pressure. So with this, we can use the bracket key to increase, decrease our brush size. And I'm just going to add in some areas like right here, you can see a little bit of the dimension. For example, on her lips, we can add a slightly on the bottom. And by switching to the brighter, we can add highlights. You can see how this easy adding balloon to our image to make stand out. Okay, just add some pop up a little bit higher, so we're going faster. Okay, right there. Just overall touch up a little bit. Be sure our dimension is proper. And I want to bring a little bit brighter on the eyes. I know sometimes it maybe look unnatural, but I want eyes kind of more stand out when we're doing double exposure. Okay, let's go ahead around the hands. And you notice you can press X key to switch between background and foreground. So this is why you can faster way, kind of like switching, add highlights and shadows and progress much faster. Okay, so right there we're adding shadows. And again, the only reason I want to add more depth, more volume. Okay, let's zoom out and add a little bit bigger shadows. So right there. Okay. Make highlights. And leave it more maybe on the cheek. Okay. Let's look before and after. You can see we add a little bit more volume. So it's look a little bit more dimensional. Okay, maybe right here a little bit more on the sides. Okay. So it's creating kind of nice look for us. Again, don't worry about too much retouching. We will overlay this, but it's still it just give it a little bit better shape. 